So we have to find the exact value of the area of a triangle by given to these sides. And this problem would be much more difficult, not given the fact that this is an isosceles triangle, and that will help. These sides are perfectly good for the perimeter, not for the area. However, for the area, we would use base times height over two, so we need to find the height. And this is where it comes in handy that this triangle is isosceles because usually the height splits this opposite side into two parts. We don't know how, but in this case, it, it halves it basically. So we know that this side is this side is nine, this is 11, and we're talking about the right triangle. So if we label the missing side H, then the Pythagorean theorem is eight squared plus nine squared equals 11 squared. So eight squared is 11 squared minus nine squared, which is 121 minus 81, which is 40. So H is either square root of 40 or, or its opposite. Given that we're looking for looking for a uh, distance, negative numbers are ruled out. So the height is square root of 40. Or if we simplify it, 40 is four times 10. And so square root of 40 also goes by two square root of 10. But that's not the end of the problem. The problem asks for the exact value of the area. So the area is now one half base times height, where the base was 18, and now we know the height is two times square root of 10. And then a half and the two cancels, and we have 18 times square root of 10. I guess nine times square root of 40 is also correct, but this one is a little bit nicer. Let's see. Yep. Thank you for watching.